Hey, what's going on, guys? Suspect Natty checking in. And so today was pretty exciting. What happened today was uh, I had to work up to a top set of five, so a, an RPE 10 on the squad. I was a bit unsure about this. I was uh, a little bit of a backstory. So about a year ago, I ended up hitting 210 on the squat for five. It was a little bit high, um, but you know, 210 for five. Yeah, so that was kind of what I was uh, looking at, but I wasn't feeling too confident in my squatting abilities yet. So 200 to 210 was sort of where I was thinking, and. Uh, Fortunately enough, uh, a lot of the boys are there, so, um, you know, just kind of hyping me up. So I ended up deciding to go 210 for 5, and I'm glad I did, because I got it. Uh, my form was a little shaky. I had quite a lot of knee cave, like knee valgus, and, uh, fuck, there was something else. Uh, can't remember what it was. Uh, yeah, that's right, my knees would shoot back again, so... Yeah, it was pretty annoying um, that it's I, my knees still shoot back and it forces my hips to rise early and turns into a good morning squat. Um, it's always been my, my biggest problem when it comes to form breakdown on the squat. But um, on sets lower than that, I don't really get it, so I'm pretty happy my, my shit stays still pretty sound. It's just, yeah, it only breaks down on really heavy sets. There wasn't any problems on the first rep. Maybe even the first two reps was, were pretty good. But yeah, just warming up right now. Um, everything was moving pretty well. I took an extra day off, I think, just to make sure I was good for this. Because I really wanted to hit a PR. Well, and then match the PR. But yeah, um. Yeah, so um, uh, aside from the top set feeling a little bit wonky, uh, I was really happy with the warm-ups. Uh, I felt really good all the way from say 140 all the way up to 200. I didn't really feel a difference in the weight, which is always a great sign when you're going for a, a PR or just heavy lifting. I suppose. Yeah. Um, see the 140 here, just not like nothing. And then yeah, there was no difference for me. The 180 here all the way to 200, it's just it's such a good feeling, you just, you just tighten your back, and it almost feels weightless, like you're just walking out of a bar, it's, it's a good feeling, it's always a good sign, always, always let it rock, when that's the case, um, see, look at that, see, look, knees stayed forward, really happy. Yeah, right here I was deciding if I should do I just jump to 210 for 5 or do I hit a single at 200 just to really see where I'm at I, I just felt like I really needed to gauge because I was really quite scared I didn't want to fail I, I couldn't afford to hit 4 it had to be 5 it had to be a top uh, sorry it had to be an RP 10 at 5 it was okay if I got less like a 9, 9.5 but yeah, I couldn't afford to not get four. Just because I just don't know what happens to the program. Here's 200. Smooth as butter. Really happy. Good form. No breakdown. Good enough.
after I hit 210 for 5, which I think might have even been an RPE 9.5, not quite sure. Um, leave that one up for grabs. But, so here's, here's, here's a big problem I had. After I hit this, uh, I was fucked. I waited like 10 minutes just to, just to rest and then I had to hit all my back offsets, which my back offsets were, uh, it was like 198 kilos. For, for fucking no, it was like 200, 198 kilos for four sets of five. That was fuck. I couldn't do that. That was I was I was truly best that I tried so hard. My back offset at 200 was much much harder than my top set at 210. So yeah, that that was interesting. <laughs> No, I, I was really quite stumped there. I was like, okay, what do I do now? Um, so, I, I just scrounged through information on what the fuck I'm supposed to do, and I just manually altered the sets, and I dropped the weight even more. I really felt bested from this, but, you know, whatever. I think it's just, I think I was allowed to, to manipulate it like that. So I just wasn't going to get the sets. It was too hard. Um... So yeah, it's it's really it's really buried me this this squat workout. I said I'm just so fatigued. It's really just ruined me. Um, I've had to take extra days off to recover just because yeah, it was it was just so hard. I must have cocked my wrist back wrong because I was really it was really hurting doing squats. I, I must have been yeah bearing too much of the weight. Um, on my left wrist because I felt like I just I broke it every time I came out so I'm gonna have to look at that and reassess that because that shit ain't cool So that was the squat workout, I'm going to post the rest of the footage from the workout in the next video, so check out that, see just what else goes on, there's some cool shit in there, so check that out. Next time on Dragon Ball Z! Every time you watch someone get beat up, you're like, oh, I want to get beat up now. <laughs>